Are you sure you don't want to use our camera crew? Honey, I am a digital girl. So pretty. And welcome to the Banana Shack. Duh! What's up, fam? Hi, Gigi. Hey, Ollie. Hit me with the use. But, like, you never ordered the same thing twice, eh? Mysterious, Nespa. Hey, Bells. Fanbase Bella, Bella Fanbase. Hello! Fanbase. Yeah! Selfie shoot! This is my friend Marge. We love to do spin class together here at the park. Only it's unicorn style! <laughs> it's a unicorn thing. I don't know why. <laughs> when I can. Ah! My baby! Oh, you give me back my phone! Give me back my phone! Right now! Hello, Bella! Hiya! And what are you doing today? Bouncing? And why is that? Oh, you're trying to set the world record for the most jumps in a single day? Nope! Break it! Impressive! Thank you. Especially considering that Ilsa Jumpinoff is doing a book signing right now at the Banana Shack. Say what now? She's visiting Melody Village today. I did not know that. Well, I know she's your hero. Well done. Uh, Bella? But how are you? I can do both, but I need to focus. about your world record and had to come and see you right away. You too? Of course, that's how I started, bouncing as a little girl. Do you mind if I take a photo with you? Bella's face stayed frozen like that for seven weeks, three days, four hours, and 16 minutes. Just long enough to break another world record for the longest held goofy face ever. Good morning, friends. I'd like you all to meet someone. Whoa. I was wondering if you wouldn't mind telling our new friends some things about yourself. Well, I could, or I could just show them. It's a light day. Let's do this! She uh, has a lot of energy. Healthy breakfast, check. Exercise! I'll fix that later. And then I came out in this amazing flowing dress just in time for the chocolate aliens. I think they were aliens. They might have just been weird kids. You hang with friends. friends. And that's when the dance number started. It was so awesome. So, how are you? Chapter Quality time with family. All 
our intrepid fingerling retires for a quiet evening, satisfied with the... Good night, Bella. It was nice meeting you. And so our day has come to an end. Now we call each other friend. We've had some fun, we've had some laughs. But most of all, it went too fast. And so with that, we bid adieu. With memories narrated by you-know-who. Good night, girls who glitter so bright. You're funny, musical, and always a delight. Good night, Bella. Your spirit so bold, you're brave and so strong when all else is told. And good night, Boris, who's play- Keep it moving, dude. I sleep three hours a night. Sweetest of dreams, sloth who's named Marge, your kindness is matched only by your heart that's so large. And sleep well, Gigi, eater of candy, your sugary sweets and sure are dandy. Dream of a world of friendship and love, where friends and adventure fit like a glove. For the challenge of friendship whose love grows so fast is to have room for more when you think you've made your last. And you will learn that by whatever ends, there will always be room for more good friends. Oh, dude, she's so cool. Ah, sleep. A magical world of slumber and dreams. A world of pillows, teddy bears, and... Alarm clocks! And uh, snooze buttons. Boris is what you might call a professional sleeper. Coming this fall, it's Glitter Girls TV! The reality show that brings you inside the crazy world of Melody Village's most sparkly little superstars! I didn't understand a thing she said. Seriously, not a single word. It's a girl thing. was a big one. Beautiful fight. Just beautiful. Hey, fingerlings, that was the human.
getting us all excited about the big concert tonight. And we have a surprise for you crazy kids out there. Two tickets for tonight's show. Just be the 28th caller and they are yours. Congratulations! You are caller number... What's your name? Gigi! Okay, uh, just read the teleprompter for your audition. What's the teleprompter? Ooh, words! Good morning, everyone! I am Gigi the Unicorn, and you are watching Sparkle Heights Weather Report! That means with an onset of the Santa Banana winds, the smell of chocolate chip cookies will soon be in the air! Mmm, boy! Chuck? a lollipop harvest like this one, all residents of Sparkle Heights will certainly be in one sweet mood. <laughs> Terry? It's Daddy here on Cotton Candy Peak where the Santa Banana winds are starting to pick up! Jawbreaker ah! hail! Ah! Back to you, Mr. Squirrel. <sighs> but even these Santa Banana winds can't stop your number one! What's happening? That was amazing! We need you to be the face of Sparkle Vision Weather Channel! Uh, no way! National or local? You two! Meh, I'm okay. Thanks, though, I guess. Ugh. Hey, I'm, uh, here about the, uh, Weather Dude gig. Did you bring an umbrella? Huh? Ah, friendship. The glue that holds Melody Village together. And with that friendship comes secrets. Hey, Gigi. Yeah? Can I tell you a secret? Please. Okay. Well. Now, with the precious top secret information in her head, Gigi must protect her sanity as the truth eats away at her, gnawing at the back of her head. I can too keep a secret. You just watch me. Ah! What's up, Gigi? Stop pressuring me! Whoa. You won't break me! Gigi, psst. It's okay. You can tell me. Ah! Tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us. Bella is throwing one of her best friends a surprise happy friend anniversary party! Ah! What you wish for. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Marge the Sloth. What's up? 
she's, um, she's a sloth. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Marge the Sloth. Recommended for medium to coarse hair. So close. <laughs> hey, Ajeej, you okay? Been in here for almost five minutes. I'm starting to worry about you. It's showtime. Huh? I really need to charge my phone more often. That is not what we did in rehearsal. Eh, needed some pizzazz. You monkeys have real control issues. Hey, everybody! I'm Boris, and you're not! Okay, so I get that we all have to do these intro videos, but I figured we'd do something with a little more... style. Top 5 Things About Boris! You have your own studio audience. You know it! Drum roll, please! Number 5! Boris has an identical twin sister named Bella! Creepy, right? Number four! Boris has a complicated relationship with the... Minis? We have to talk about this? <laughs> it just gets worse when you give them attention, guys. Number three! Boris has a... Stuffed animal named Major Monkey Pants. Pew, pew, pew! But Major Monkey Pants, what will we do? We're surrounded! Calm down, soldier! Just stand back and I'm on the case! Pew, pew, pew! pew. Number two! Boris and Bella have a special twin language called Monkey Latin! <laughs> Number one thing you didn't know about Boris. He rocks the drums! <laughs> Good night, everybody! This has been Top 5 Things About Boris. Good night.
Ah, Melody Village, a world of laughter and imagination, where thinglings of all kinds live in perfect harmony. See, what did I tell you? A banana! Thank you, Richard! We'll take it from here! Hi! I'm Bella! Incoming! And that's Boris! What's up, Internet? And this is Melody Village! It's pretty cool! We have banana cones! Hey! each other, KK. This is going to be the greatest friendship ever! <laughs> You're gonna love our next friend! She's awesome! She's super smart and super chill! Marge the Sloth! Hi. And so we leave Melody Village. Come back to visit anytime. Bella, Boris, and all their fingling friends will be waiting for you. What do we do? Huh? You ought to uh, narrate. I'm melting! <sighs> I have an idea. This is so refreshing. Oh, come on, you guys! We can make the best of this! Whoa! I know! I spy with my little eye something... Um... Blue! The ocean? Whoa! You guys are good! Marshmallow men are crazy, I'm telling ya. <laughs> oh, best day ever. Ever. Totes. <laughs> Worth it. Best day ever. We live on a miraculous planet. Filled with wonder and love. A world where the fingerlings frolic and play in perfect harmony. Why are you talking like that? It makes me sound smart and stuff. Eh. Ah, yes. And like most natural habitats, it comes with its own... Um, <clears throat> uh, meet the minis. Living by pack mentality, the Mini is driven by only one thing. To create as much chaos as they can at any given moment. <laughs> Needless to say, they're very, very good at it. The Mini has spotted its prey. The poor creature below, unaware of the impending danger. He knows something isn't quite right. Unfortunately, it's too late. The Minnie's prey puts up a valiant fight. But in the end, it is too much as he succumbs to his attackers. 
I hate those guys. Truly defining the term wildlife, there is one thing we can learn from the minis, and that is... What? Excuse me? Oh, hey, goodness, there are so many of you. <laughs> don't touch that. Wait, don't spill that on the... Oh, no. Oh, this has been Planet Vigilings. Good night. I told you I don't have any food. This is Robo Sapien, and I am instructing you to like and subscribe below, or I will destroy you. And thank you for watching, friend. Dude.